What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're going to go through one of the new features in SketchUp 2025 that's a little bit underrated or under talked about that can make your life a lot easier when it comes to your tags. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this example file is actually going to be one of the examples made available in my course. It's designed to show you how to set up your models so that you can use your different viewports and scenes in order to create great plans over in layout. So um, it's got everything from notes and colors. I mean, it's got options between colors and black and white, and it's really designed to show you how to set up your models. So this is one of the example files that's going to be available in the course, which I will link to in the notes down below. And so specifically what I wanted to talk about is up until this point when you're working in SketchUp and getting ready for layout, it's always been super problematic if you have objects where you have to add tags. So I've got all of these different scenes set up right now, right? So I've got my floor plan view set up. I've got my flooring plan. I've got all of that. But look at how these objects right here, if I put them on a new tag, so let's say I go into architectural and we're just going to say a dash specialties right here. Well, the problem with SketchUp is if you add a new tag and you tag a bunch of stuff, right? So I'm going to put this on specialties right here. If you add a new tag into this list, it's automatically on in every single one of the views that you have created. And you can see I have a ton of different views set up in here because um, I need to be able to look at some things differently, right? I need to be able to look at the light fixture, the counters, all of those different things differently. But the problem is... Um, notice how this new tag that I added, this A-specialties, it's on in like all of them, which is not what I want. And so like notice, for example, that this particular view is supposed to just have my walls on it so that I can send that line work over to layout. But this specialties tag is on in all of these, right? I've got different wall tags. I've got one that's just supposed to show the door and the window, but these are all on because I added this after the fact, which is a problem. However, in SketchUp 2025, there's a new feature which is super helpful, um, which allows you to basically toggle a tag off and save it across multiple different scenes. Okay, and so the way this works is you can go through and you can pick all of the scenes that you want to update, right? So in this case, I don't want this to show up on any of my detailed breakout pages. So my walls, my doors and windows, my appliances, any of that stuff, I don't want this to show up on any of those scenes, right? So I've got all of these different scenes selected. Well, what I can do is I can go toggle that specialties tag off. I can right click on this and I can click on apply tags to scenes. Well, what that does is that goes through and that applies that particular tag visibility to the scene just like this. So now this is on on the pages that I want them to be on, but it's off on all of the other pages. So being able to apply a tag visibility to multiple different scenes like this is massively helpful because now I don't have to quick click back and forth between each one of them, toggle that tag off and then update the scene. All right, so kind of a quick video, but the amount of time this will save is massive. So I am super excited about this tool um, because it's going to save me a ton of time when I'm working with getting scenes set up for layout. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this function. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.